Hello students, we are dealing the chapter ray optics. Now we have the topic here power of a lens. Two lenses are drawn here, one is convex lens, another one is concave lens. Here we see that parallel beams comes from infinity. This parallel beam falls on the lens. After that, it converges and a point at point x it will forms image. Similarly, in the case of convex uh, concave lens, parallel beam comes from infinity and it strikes at the surface of a lens and it get diverges. On producing on the back side, we will get a virtual image at i. So, the power of lens may be defined as the extent which a beam of incident light converges or diverges depending upon the nature of lens is said to be as power of lens or a power of lens is the ability of lens either to converge or to diverge the beam of rays falling on it to form the image is said to be as power of lens. Now we will see the formula related to power of lens here from the triangle A B X we have tan theta is equal to h1 by h by bx or bx is nothing but it is focus f. So, if angle is very small then tan theta can be written as theta, theta is equal to h by f. If h is equal to 1 unit then theta is equal to 1 by f where this theta is the converging angle. So, it is said to be as power. So, power is equal to 1 by f. So, power may be defined as the reciprocal of focal length. For convex lens, the focal length is positive. So, power for power for convex lens is positive. And we are seeing in the case of a concave lens, we are getting virtual image. Therefore, focal length here is focal length is negative therefore power is also negative so the formula for power is p is equal to 1 by f and the unit of power is unit of power is diopter now we will try to see how much the diopter will be equal to so we have the formula p is equal to 1 by f if f is equal to 1 meter then power will be equal to 1 by 1 meter which is equal to 1 diopter. So, 1 diopter is that power of a lens which have a focal length of 1 meter. So, we can say 1 diopter is that power of a given lens which shows or which have the focal length of 1 meter. Next we will see the magnification of lens. Magnification is defined as the relative size of image with respect to size of the object. I mean to what extent a given lens enlarges or diminishes the image size depending upon the object size and its location is said to be as magnification. So, here we have three types of magnifications. First one is linear magnification. Second aerial magnification, third one is angular magnification. Okay, now, we will see the linear magnification. Linear magnification is given by m is equal to height of image divided by height of object. So, let us see what will be the case of uh, magnification in the case of convex lens when it forms real image and when it forms virtual image. So, here it can be written as h2 by h1, image height is h2 whereas object height is h1. First I am taking convex lens, convex lens forming real image. 
the convex lens forms a real image the diagram for this one uh, we can say take like this uh, say here we have a convex lens an object is there here it forms an image somewhere here we get an inverted image so this one is h1 and this is h2 and here this distance can be taken as u and this one is v so for uh, magnification when image is uh, real is given by m is equal to h2 divided by h1 the sign of h2 is negative because uh, it is falling in the negative direction of y axis according to coordinate cartesian coordinate system so h2 is negative magnification comes out to be minus of h2 by h1 now from triangular properties we can say h2 by h1 is nothing but it is v divided by u using sign convention v is positive and u is negative so magnification can be written as m is equal to minus of minus v by u so minus minus becomes plus m is equal to v by u so for lens the formula for magnification is given by m is equal to v by u if the convex lens forms virtual image that is for virtual image h1 is positive also h2 is also positive so magnification m is equal to h2 divided by h1 which is equal to v divided by u so the formula for magnification is given by m is equal to v divided by u for the case of convex lens or simply for the case of uh, lenses the magnification formula is m is equal to v by u or h2 by h1 next we will try to see the relation between i mean the magnification in terms of focal length first we know that 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u now from this expression we can take 1 by u is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by f and the magnification formula we have here is equal to m is equal to v by u if we replace 1 by u by 1 by v minus 1 by f the formula for magnification comes out to be m is equal to v multiplied by 1 by v minus 1 by f multiply this v into two terms present inside the bracket we get m is equal to v by v minus v by f cancellation of v v gives m is equal to 1 minus v by f or m is equal to f minus v divided by f so this is the formula of magnification in terms of focal length as well as the image distance next we will try to see the formula for magnification in terms of focal length as well as object distance u again we will take uh, the value of v and we will substitute that value of v in the case of magnification to get the relation of magnification in terms of focal length as well as object distance so from equation 1 we have 1 by v is equal to 1 by f plus 1 by u now from the magnification formula we have m is equal to v by u or we can write this as 1 by m is equal to u by v or 1 by m is equal to u divided u multiplied by the value of 1 by v can be substituted here which is 1 by f plus 1 by u now multiply u with the terms present inside the bracket we get 1 by m is equal to u divided by f plus u by u or 1 by m is equal to u by f plus 1 1 by m is equal to u plus f divided by f or m is equal to f divided by u plus f so this is the relation between focal length magnification and object distance next we will see the aerial magnification aerial magnification is given by m is equal to area of image divided by area of object say for example if we have any convex lens or concave lens uh, let us say here an object is there uh, let us suppose that area of this object as a1 and it forms image whose area is a2 then 
the magnification aerial magnification is given by m is equal to a2 by a1 so this is the formula for aerial magnification next we will see the angular magnification angular magnification is defined as ratio of angle subtended at the eye in presence of optical devices to the angle subtended at the eye by the object without use of optical devices. Say for example, if an object is there here, uh, let us suppose that this object makes an angle of makes of makes an angle of theta at the eye at distance of distinct vision. Uh, let us suppose that height of this object is h1 which makes angle theta at the eye at distance of d the distinct vision distance of distinct vision then here we have not used any type of uh, optical devices therefore tan theta can be written as tan theta is equal to h1 by d or theta is equal to h1 by d now suppose that an optical devices is used with the use of optical devices the angle subtended at the eye by the object will change it may increase from its actual angle in that case uh, suppose that we have an object and the enlarged image which is obtained due to the use of optical devices may be taken as h2 here the angle subtended at the eye by this image we can take as theta 2 and first one is theta 1 so it is also has to be formed at a distance of distinct vision for proper viewing so tan theta 2 is equal to h2 by d so angular magnification may be defined as angle subtended at i in presence of optical devices to the angle subtended at the eye without optical device. So magnification is equal to tan theta 2 divided by tan theta 1 or it will be h2 by d divided by h1 by d, dd get cancels finally you will get h2 by h1. So the angular magnification is given by tan theta 2 divided by tan theta 1 which is again nothing but it is equivalent to the linear magnification h2 by h1. So magnification is nothing but it is the in what way a lens enlarges or diminishes the size of image with respect to object or it is defined as the relative size of image with respect to object. So we have three types of magnifications first one is linear we saw that one and second one is aerial and third one is angular magnification. Next we will see the combination of lenses uh, suppose that we have two lenses two thin lenses which are contact together let us say object is located at a distance of u from first lens which forms an image at a distance of v dash within the lens itself this v dash which is uh, image distance for the first lens will act as an object for the second lens and finally an image will form in the rarer medium at a distance of v so the diagram is like this an object is placed at a distance of u from the first lens it will forms an image at a distance of v dash within the lens itself which is named as i dash this i dash which is the image of first lens will act as an object for the second lens and final image forms in the rarer medium at a distance v now we will try to see the total focal length in this case for first lens using lens equations we get using lens equation for first lens we have 
1 by f1 is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by 1 by v dash minus 1 by u where f1 is the focal length of first lens similarly for second lens v dash is acting as an object distance for the second lens. So, here let us uh, suppose that f2 be the focal length of second lens then the using uh, thin lens formula we get 1 by f2 is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by v dash let this as equation 1 and this one as equation 2. Adding these two equations we get 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 is equal to 1 by v dash minus 1 by u plus 1 by v minus 1 by v dash. Now, 1 by v dash and 1 by v dash get cancelled out. So, finally, we will have 1 by v minus 1 by u. So, 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. Now, these two lenses can be considered as a single lens having focal length of f. Imagine that object is located at a distance of u and the final image is forming at a distance of v. Therefore, using thin lens formula for this combination the total reciprocal of total focal length 1 by f will be equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. Let this as equation, so this one as equation 3 and this one as equation 4. Now, comparing equation 3 and 4 we get 1 by f is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2. So, we find that when two lenses are in contact then the resultant focal length of these two lenses will be equal to I mean the resultant reciprocal of focal length will be equal to some of the reciprocals of the focal lengths of individual lenses. Now, on simplification of this 1 by f we get 1 by f is equal to f2 plus f1 divided by f1 f2 or f is equal to f1 f2 divided by f1 plus f2. So, this is the formula for the determination of focal length for the combination of two lenses. Now, we will see the various conditions. Now, if two focal lengths I mean if the focal lengths of individual lenses are same then the formula becomes if f1 is equal to f2 is equal to f then f will be equal to f multiplied by f divided by f plus f which is equal to f square divided by 2 f or f f get cancelled out then the net focal length will comes out to be f by 2. If two lenses that is if two convex lenses are combined together such that the focal lengths of individual lenses are f then the resultant focal length which is obtained here is f by 2. That is if we consider two lenses having the focal lengths of f and f the resultant focal length which will be obtained when we combine these two lenses will be equal to the half of focal length of any one of the individual lens. Now, if one of the lens is convex other one is concave. Now, let us see the condition what will happen in that case. If one lens is convex and other is concave. We know that for concave lens focal length is negative and for convex lens focal length is positive. Let us suppose that first lens is convex, second one is concave. Here I am naming the focal length of first lens as f1 and for first second lens as f2. So, the focal length of convex lens here I took here as f1 and for convex concave lens as f2. So, here the formula becomes f is equal to f1 multiplied by for concave lens the focal length is negative. So, we have to write here as minus f2 divided by f1 minus f2. So, this is the case when two dissimilar lenses are arranged together such that one is convex another one is concave we get a minus of f1 f2 divided by f1 minus f2. Here if two lenses have the same focal length if f1 is equal to f2 then the resultant focal length f will be equal to minus f square divided by f1 minus f minus f which is equal to 1 by 0 or f square by 0 which is equal to infinity. 
or f is equal to infinity. So, the indication of f is equal to infinity is the, such that the combination of these two lenses having same focal length out of which one is convex another one is concave the resultant combination will be just like a glass plate. So, we see that in the case of formula of uh, focal length if two lenses having same focal length which is one of which is convex another one as uh, concave then the resultant focal length is comes out to be infinity which indicates that the radius of this combination is infinity which is possible only for glass plate. That means, when we combine two lenses one of which convex another one is concave the resultant will behave just like a simple glass plate and there will not be any change and the I mean the refractive index will remains same. Now, we will see the power of combination of lenses in contact here we know the formula for net focal lengths when two, fo two lenses are combined together which is given by 1 by f is equal to 1 by f 1 plus 1 by f 2 and we know that power is nothing but it is the reciprocal of focal length therefore, the resultant power can be written as p is equal to p 1 plus p 2. So, when two lenses combine together the net power will be equal to sum of the powers of individual lenses. If both are both have same powers then power will be equal to p plus p which is equal to 2 p for convex combination. So, that is when we combine two lenses having same power then the resultant power which will be obtained due to this combination will be equal to the twice of the power of individual lens. So, here p is equal to 2 p and if combinations are concave then power will be equal to minus of 2 p. If one is concave and other is convex like this then the net power will be equal to p 1 minus p 2. If p 1 is equal to p 2 is equal to p then power will be equal to 0. So, if two lenses are in contact such that one is convex another one is concave then the resultant power will be equal to 0. Now, we will see the magnification for the combination of a two lenses let us say this first one is uh, lens number 1 and second one is 2. Now, h 1 is the object which is placed before first lens which is located at a distance of uh, u this will act as an object for the first lens and an image is formed this image will act as a virtual object for the second lens and final image is formed at x whose height is h 2. Now, magnification produced by the first lens you can take as m 1 is equal to h dash divided by h 1 where h dash is the height of image formed by the first lens which is acting here as a virtual object for the second lens. Similarly, magnification for the second lens is given by m 2 is equal to image height divided by object height object height here is h dash and the image height for the second lens is h 2. So, magnification produced by the second lens is given by h 2 divided by h dash. Now, on multiplication of these two magnification we get m 1 multiplied by m 2 is equal to h 1 divided h dash divided by h 1 multiplied by h 2 divided by h dash h dash h dash get cancelled out and we get h 2 by h 1. So, we got an equation here m 1 multiplied by m 2 is equal to h 2 by h 1 let this as equation 1. Now, consider these two lenses as a single lens here I am considering these two combination as a single lens which is as shown in the figure or let us say h 1 is the object height which is located at uh, u distance and final image is formed at v distance whose height of the image as 
H2. So magnification M in this case is given by H2 divided by H1 equation 2. Combining equation 2 and 1 that is on equating equation 1 and 2 we get M1 multiplied by M2 is equal to M. So we see that when we combine the two lenses in contact the net magnification is comes out to be the product of magnifications of individual lenses. Similarly, for powers the total power will be equal to sum of the powers and for focal length the reciprocals of the net focal length will be equal to sum of the reciprocals of focal length. Now we will see the focal lengths when the two lenses are separated by some distance here the reciprocal of focal length 1 by f will be equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 minus d divided by f1 f2. So this is the formula which is used for the determination of focal length when two lenses are separated by some distance. So next we will see the power of a lens, second one is power of combination. Here we know that 1 by f is equal to power. So from this expression we get 1 by sorry p is equal to p1 plus p2 minus d p1 p2 and the magnification 3 is given by magnification of the combination is equal to m1 multiplied by m2. So from these three expressions we see that there will be a change in focal lengths uh, when the two lenses are separated by some distance compared to the two lenses when they are in contact. Similarly power of uh, combination will also change when they are separated but the magnification will remain same uh, whether it is separated by some distance or whether the two lenses are combined together. So these are the few topics we touched on today. We will see the remaining topics in our next class. Till then I hope that you all will practice, do your best. Thank you.